Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm a senior from Yale Haynes, and I'm going to be talking about sustainability for environmental issues. We hear a lot about the little ways we can help the environment. Taking shorter showers, hanging your clothes, or even traveling less. And that's great, but really we need to focus on the real drivers of global warming. According to the UN of Agriculture, food production and deforestation are those drivers, and we need effective solutions to manage them. While working on one's individual footprint is important, we need to encourage open data, a sustainable and effective approach for countries to identify and address the biggest problem areas. While taking my environmental class in sophomore year, I got inspired to learn more about these environmental issues, and I felt the need to do something about it. So I joined my school's environmental club, but I soon felt discouraged. How is recycling and reducing the amount of ink we use going to really help the planet? Society recognizes global warming as a major issue. NASA recently captured the change in carbon dioxide levels in over a millennium. Ever since 1950, we still have continued to record the highest levels of CO2. But what does that mean and why did it happen? As cities and farming practices increased, so did our impact on the environment. According to Binkish, a top-rated eco-conscious blogger found that half of the world's nat natural forest cover has been destroyed, causing a 12 to 17 percent rise in greenhouse gases, informing us that the earth is becoming more polluted and we aren't using any effective solutions to control the issue. Many people understand that, and they search for ways to make change, and as a result, they focus on their individual footprint, which many articles actually encourage. Articles such as carbon footprint, such as traveling less, reducing the amount of water usage, or even turning down the heating. Many believe if enough individuals make enough small changes, we can have a large impact. But in fact, this is not where we should be focusing our sustainable efforts. Instead, we need to encourage open data, the availability of information to the public. Ananya Narain, the author of the article, Why is Data Revolution for Sustainable Development Critical, explains the need for a data ecosystem, for improving efficiency and effectiveness of problem solving through, through the use of open data. In order to, the, uh, to understand the potential of open data, the Global Forest Watch is a perfect example. Its purpose is to monitor forests real time using global maps, a data on net carbon fluxes from forests. Sooner or later, open data will have to become the solution, and the GFW is the first step in the right direction.